the same way, this man will be speaking great things. And then number three, we were on this point of orator. His authoritative oration will not even spare God. His speech will not spare God. Uh, spare. Yes. Actually, that is the verse. And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him forty and two months. Verse number six. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. To blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and them that dwell in heaven. Do you understand this man? The Bible give him exhaustive coverage. That's what, why I love the Bible. The Bible gives him great coverage. He is trying to tell us exactly how this man will be. Is he trying to exalt the devil and the Antichrist? No. The Bible is merely giving you information Bible, eh, so that you are not ignorant about the man. The Bible is not exalting the man. Bible, it is just giving you details about him. Now, for you are still alive who are seated here and those watching by television. Now you make the choice. Among these two superstars whom do you prefer? The choice is yours. That's why God gave us the power of the will. He saw Eve stretching forth his hand to pick the fruit if I was God I would have cut off her hand so that he does not pick the fruit but because God gives you the power to will he cannot cut off your hand so you make the choice you make the choice and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. That's why I said that in his oration, in his public speaking, even God will not be spared. He will not spare God. He will abuse him. He will talk every evil against him. He will blaspheme him. And since this man, the aunt was not spare God. He will blaspheme his name. He also blaspheme the tabernacle. The tabernacle now is in heaven. That's where we are. With the church members, we are part of the tabernacle. We are now in heaven. We saw the other time that Jesus said, John the Revelator said, now the tabernacle is with God. Because now this man is seated in the holy place and is called himself God. He will open his mouth to blaspheme against God. He will blaspheme his name. He will blaspheme the tabernacle. And he will not even spare us. Them that dwell in heaven. Remember we are now in heaven. But he will not even spare us. They are boasting that they went. You think they went somewhere? They are there hungry. They are boasting that they did. You know, some people, how they speak, they say they think they went to Sweden. With his fake legs, he's in London. That he's in London. Some people are envious. But the person speaking is in Katanga. And maybe they are in Chicago. Now, what shall we do? This man. Will not even spare us. 
We should not love this man. Tetulina kuagala msajjono. Neither his father. Ni wangu ba dechitawe. Who is the dragon? Nga gwe gosota. The old serpent. Ogosota ogweda. The devil. Satan. Called Satan. Haiti wa Satan. Because as we speak now. Kubawe tuogere rakati. The devil has no seat. Satan itacha ina antebe. He has given voluntarily. Aji wade yonga ye ya galide. To this man. Ili omu sajono. The devil has no power. Satan italina man. He has voluntarily surrendered his power. Aga wade yoche ya galide. The devil has no authority. Satan itacha ina buinza. So this man is also a spokesman for the devil. Kationo na ye muogezi wa satan. He is now the prime minister of the devil. Ye katikiro wa satan. He is copying exactly what Pharaoh did to Joseph. A kopeda dala fala weche ya kola yusu. Joseph became the prime minister. Yusuf ya foka prime minister. And so this man is also the official spokesman for the kingdom of darkness. Ye mwogezo omukuru owa kabako wechizikiza. At the same time, he is divine. Ye ye fudde He's divine. Because now he's sitting in the holy place in the temple at Jerusalem. Today's Jerusalem. Because that temple is, is going to be rebuilt. Actually, even the plans of building that temple are already surrendered. In this present gem time of Benjamin Netanyahu they even finished drawing the plans of rebuilding the new temple what is only restricting them is because there is that mosque called Al-Aqsa the Al-Aqsa mosque which is standing in the foundation itself and when they break it it can even trigger the third world war so they are going so cautiously to implement this plan but the Al-Aqsa mosque cannot allow them to build this temple but by this time the temple will be there so actually today I've talking about only one quality and because of time I don't think we can continue from here so he will be, let's finish with this one he opened his mouth to bless against God bless him against his name his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven but remember the power is only for 42 months. All this blasphemy will not exceed 42 months. That's why we need to be patient in a lot of things we do on earth. When you see your husband having a girlfriend as a side dish, you just have to be patient. That girlfriend will not be there for rent. Oh, your girlfriend taking a cover out of it. He will not. She will not. But you hear somebody tying everything in the house and you could know because of the girlfriend. The girlfriend is a temporary. Justin. Girlfriend is a temporary. <laughs> Why do you bother your head? <laughs> And you even buy acid. Which acid do you know when you pour on her, you might even end up on the gallows? Why do you have to be this girl might yoga you for a month, for two, for a year maybe. This girl might yoga you for a month, for two, for a year maybe. There is no man who can keep a girlfriend for more than a year. Because girlfriends are demanding too much. And something will happen in between there. And then you find you when you are already packed up your bags and went. So this message here teaches us patience. Because the Bible said this blasphemy is for 42 months. The Bible is even specific about the longevity and the time frame. 42 months. 
He will have no more room to bless them. Because after those 42 months, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 19, I think in verse 8, and then John saw heaven open. And the Son of God seated on the white horse. And the church behind him following. Actually, put that scripture and we end up with that one. I think it's Revelation 19. I think verse number 9. Eh? 10. Yes, John 10. Twelve. E? E. Eleven. That's it. As this man continues, we finish with that one. As this man continues, um, so you know, again, a John chapter 19, 11 says, And I saw heaven open. I'll have a whole session to teach about that. Because that is very, very important. I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. And he that upon him was called faithful. And true. And is righteous. And doth judge and make war. Verse number 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And the, the, his eyes were like as a flame of fire. And whose head were many crowns. And the hand of the name written that no man knew but he himself. Verse number 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. Heaven is open now. Verse number 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him. Already the armies which were in heaven. These people went in rapture. Uh, white, uh, followed him on white horses. Seven African Kudanga took white horses. Closed in fine linen. Mujukira. White and clean. Mujukira. You mean come with a bit of mango. Uh huh. Nothing to Verse number 15. 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it should smite the nations and shall rule, the, who shall rule them with a rod of iron. And it and treadeth the winepress of the fairness and wrath of Almighty God. Verse number 16. Out in detail. And his heart he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Verse number 19. And I saw an angel standing in the sun and he cried with a loud voice saying to all fowls of the fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourself together unto the supper of the great God. <laughs> all the birds the Lord is going to call upon them. Come, gather the Lord has prepared his supper for you. Eh? Mm. Verse number 18. Verse number 18. That he may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of the men, both free and born, both small and great. Verse number 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. That is the greatest mistake the Antichrist will ever make in his life. And when he sees Jesus on the white horse, Nothing at all. when we are also following, he, he doesn't know that his 42 months are over. Even Jesus will wait for them to elapse. That they saw the Antichrist and the kings of the earth and their armies. They gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. And against his army. Verse number 20. And the beast was taken. And with him, the false prophet that wrote miracles before him. 
with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast and then them worshipped his name these both were cast alive into the lake fire burning again the first person to enter into hell will be the beast there is no person in hell even today there is no single person in hell the first person to go there beast he is going to gather armies to fight against Jesus. And then point his uh, guns in him. But Jesus with merely a sword out of his mouth. His word. He will arrest the beast. And the Bible says, and this false prophet. That wrote two miracles before him, which we deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. But these were these both were cast alive into the lake, fire burning with brimstone. There is no even judgment for them. The blasphemy is enough. In other words, the first thing Jesus will do when he lands on the earth with his church from heaven is to get the beast, that evil man, and his first prophet. Before he does anything else. So the 42 months will have come to an end. I think we shall begin from there. Let's give. Let's give to the house of the Lord. Let's give to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Please go ahead and follow this series about the rapture and the Antichrist. You can find them on YouTube. Ministries. You can find them on WhatsApp and Facebook. And the Miracle Center Church platforms. You can even go to Twitter and Instagram at Aaron TV Ministries. Or you can follow us on UBC TV every Sunday at 5 o'clock. I believe God will bless you. Time to give. We give online. The numbers are 0708 0786 0786-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0776-0
in the name of Jesus we love you Lord we love you Father bless your people keep them safe from coronavirus Lord protect them I pray that your divine security will be upon their lives and their children in the name of Jesus Father raise us up out of dust out of hunger out of financial scarcity in Jesus name Amen and Amen we love you we are praying for you and we believe in you Hallelujah Amen. God bless you all Hallelujah Hallelujah